My hope would be, you would say, I see faithfulness. I see a man who's imperfect, but they're loving their family. And Jesus is the hero of all these things. But all of us can show someone that in our own lives. So Paul says, look, many people, look, live with this secret Christianity where they don't invite others into their lives. But yet look at Timothy and Paul. He says, Timothy, you know, you know. In 2 Timothy 3 and 11, look at verse 11. Along with the persecutions and sufferings that came to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, what persecutions I endured. And yet the Lord rescued me from them all. While Timothy was not with Paul at all of these occurrences. Paul shared his struggles with his son in the faith. Why? Because he wanted him to know what it really meant to follow Jesus. Because the Lord strengthened him. The Lord rescued him for, from the persecution that he faced. He was beaten. He was shipwrecked. He was abandoned. He was brought to court. He was jailed. But how can Paul say the Lord God rescued him if he experienced all those things? Well, our idea of rescue and God's idea of rescue are two separate things. Because in Psalm 34, 19, it says this, One who is righteous has many adversities, ad adversities, but the Lord rescues him from them all. As one commentator put it, the Lord ever rescues his people frequently from death, sometimes by the means of death. Meaning God may allow you to die to liberate you. Either way, nothing can separate us from the love of God. Paul wrote those words as well. And Paul's words reminded Timothy of the certainty of suffering, but they also contained a promise of divine protection. There were many times when Paul was rescued instead of dying, God delivered him. When Paul was bitten by a serpent, he didn't die. When Paul was shipwrecked, he still stayed alive. When they beat Paul, he got back up and kept going. This was God's divine protection. But the biggest point is that this, is that Paul, the same one who said, look, the gospel is never chained. The one who was going to be beheaded for his faith is the same one who welcomed this young man into his life. For many people, men and women, who have experienced fatherlessness many times it's a fear if I open up myself to another person will they be just like my dad was will they demean me will they look down on me when I say I have a struggle will they look at me and say you just need to have it all together will they only show you love only when you are perfect but a true discipleship relationship says to another believer in the Lord. If you have that type of relationship like Paul and Timothy had, you see that person, and when they fall or when they show imperfections, guess what you do? Point them right back to the perfect one. Amen. You put your arm around them and say, I know your sin struggle because I've struggled as well. And this is what Paul did with Timothy. And he said this in Philippians 3.10, My goal is to know him in the power of his res resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings. So he says to Timothy, you've seen my life. You know me because you've been with me. Guess what Paul was doing? He was doing the same thing Jesus did with his disciples. They were with him. 